when he was with Golden State that gave up that spot for Magic to take the floor. You might recall that Magic had retired earlier in the season due to the fact that he contracted HIV. Magic went on one, that MVP of that All-Star game. Our Tim Hardaway finished with uh, 14 points and seven assists. It was Timmy's assists that didn't count in the box score that mattered most on that night nearly 20 years ago, setting the stage for Magic to provide just that on the floors. In the old building, but in the stack. Eric, you're talking back over to you. Hi, thanks, Jax. Good memories. Any Tim Hardaway video is a good video for us. Yeah, best point guard in new history. Mikel Kalatnis, who committed a foul a moment ago, just grabbed that rebound. Nine minutes left, first half, 18 by 16, largest lead of this one-sided first half for Miami. Wade spinning out of trouble, and the ball deflected out of his hands, but they say last touch by the Heat. And that is the fourth Miami turnover. The Heat already have 13 points off eight Magic turnovers. And Coach the Magic, who shot just 35% Sunday in Miami, even worse in his first half here, 21% on 5 of 24 from the floor. You know, a lot of this is just defense, contesting shots, but they're missing open shots as well. Offensively, you know, if you notice that both LeBron and D-Wade have the option of going into that low post in transition. It's up to them. They decide, and then the Heat play out of it. Well, Mikel Gladness picking up his second foul. You know, Miami outscored the Magic in the second half the other night, 65-39. to Add this score onto that, and in the last, well, let's see, three and a half quarters, the Heat outscoring Orlando 99-57. to Heat fans bring the whole family to party at the Heat's house with a Papa John's Heat family meal deal available for the upcoming Charlotte Bobcats game on New Year's Day in Miami. You get four 400-level tickets, four Papa John's arena pizzas, four small arena sodas, and a coupon for one large pizza redeemable at any South Florida location. All of that for just 150 bucks. You can buy it online at heat.com. Dwight Howard missing both free throws. Howard has six points in this, actually eight points in this game. Miami up by 16 still. Wade, cross court for James Jones, a three, no good. And the rebound taken by Glenn Big Baby Davis. This is Duhon. Gladness defending Howard with help from Haslam. While the Heat defense has been smothering, Wade with a steal and another forced turnover. Wade leading Haslam, but to nowhere special. Backdoor for Cole, able to pick it up, and almost drop it home. Norris Cole, a former high school football star as a quarterback, Coach, the little fella has tough because he's not afraid to stick his nose right in the middle of a land of the big. Good backdoor cut, good read by Mikel Gladness. Guys, overplaying you on the wing, go back door. And uh, even though the initial pass was knocked away, Cole was able to stay with it and draw the foul. Second team foul on the Magic, second personal on Glenn Davis. Morris Cole, part of 90 victories in his four years at Cleveland State. Grew up in Dayton, Ohio, former middle school and high school teammate of former heater Daquan Cook, who's now with Oklahoma City. Glenn Davis out. Ryan Anderson back in. Yeah, and Cole's got a bachelor's degree in health science from Cleveland State. Morris Cole, very likable young man and a skilled pick and roll player for a guy coming out of college. Well, Cole gets both free throws. The rookie has four points. And Miami now up by 18. A 9-0 heat run. And another turnover. Here comes Cole. Speedy down the lane with a runner. Tipped up by Wade. And then a foul on Udonis. Maslam coming over the back of Ryan Anderson. His first foul. How about the intensity in which Wayne Wade is playing at both ends of the floor? Mikhail Gladness comes out. Chris Bosch is back in the Magic. Yeah, they have just 18 points on the board with seven and a half minutes to go in the first half. Orlando has been scoreless for the last four minutes. Remember, they missed their first 12 shots 
to start the game, and they only have one point here in the second quarter. Here we have a turnover. Anderson stumbling underneath, and finally lays it in. Ryan Anderson, don't let his outside shooting fool you. That's a 6'10 player, so he can do it inside and in. He knows how to play. Ryan Anderson missed all four of his shots in the first quarter. That was his first quarter. Wade using glass, missed on the left-handed jump hook. Yeah, a little too far out for that move. Here's Nelson, open three ball, is short. Jameer Nelson continues to struggle. He's 0 for 3 tonight, making him 0 for 13 in the two games so far. Wade draws foul, and he will take his four points to the free throw strike. Transition offense again, push the ball up the floor, take advantage of the team in transition defense. You won't find the team that's better in transition defense than they are in the half court sets. First foul on J.J. Riddick, third on the Magic. Well, Dwayne Wade, tell me, what does he do for an encore after averaging 25 and a half points a game on 50% shooting last year, 50% a career high, his six plus rebounds a game, also a career high, and remember in the final, Tony, over 26 points a game, and he shot 55%. So, what does he do for an encore in his ninth NBA season? If you speak to Dwayne about the uh, playoffs in general last year, he didn't feel he played very well, not to his standard. You know, the, those points he scored, that's great for an average player. He's not an average player. And he feels he wants to do a lot better once the playoffs come around. The way he was great in the second round series against Boston when he scored 30 points a game and shot 53%. The series he struggled was in the conference finals when he averaged under 19 points and shot just 41% in that hard-fought five-game series against Chicago in the conference finals. Miami up by 18. And that ball knocked down by the Heat. The Magic will retain possession and come off the bench with a former Florida State Seminole, Von Wafer, a former Los Angeles Laker, and most recently a member of the Boston Celtics, came over with Glenn Davis in the trade that sent Brandon Bass to Boston. Technical foul was called right here. And the technical on J.J. Redick. So James Jones will go to the free throw line to shoot the tap. Eric the Heat look more athletic and more in shape right now than Orlando does. And that's something that was not lost on Stan Van Gundy. He was he, he was quoted as saying that after Sunday's 33-point Heat win. They had a second half, they ran out of gas. Orlando did. Miami right now on a 12-2 run. The Heat have opened up their largest lead of this first half. They're up by 19. Wafer, nice swing into the corner. Jason Richardson misses the three. Loose ball rebound to Joe L. Anthony. And the Magic are now 0 for 12 from the land of three. Imagine that. Here comes Bosch. The running hook rolls off to Ryan Anderson. And Nelson moves it across with a pass to Wafer. He's open for three. Missed it. Wade with a rebound in traffic. 13 missed three-point attempts for the Magic in this first half. James Jones is the only guy on the floor that's uh, in this game that's made a three so far. Jason Richardson took the pump fake from Dwayne Wade, committed his first foul. We have a timeout here at the Amway Center. 